It's day two at our Bowman Lane project. It's freezing this morning, wind is roaring, but it's not gonna stop us. We gotta finish framing out this deck, get to the pergola, stay tuned. Day two at our Bowman Lane project. We're gonna get this frame totally wrapped up today. We're gonna to frame out our pergola so that we can get our framing inspection tomorrow. We have our order of VECA decking coming from Greenway this afternoon so that tomorrow we can start installing the decking. It's gonna start taking shape, stay tuned. When installing the joists, we run everything long. This deck is gonna be 17 feet deep. So we have 20 foot joists here. We just lay them in there like that. And then once we get everything set, We'll measure out from the house and we'll make a mark where we need to cut it. So we have a mark on both sides. We'll snap a chalk line, cut them all so that they're all perfectly straight. There's no thinking involved. Just cut it at the line, install your rim joist, and it's perfectly straight. One of the most important things that you're gonna to wanna to do after you get your joists installed is install some blocking. We have all the joists in already, so Josh is pre-cutting the blocking at 10 and a half inches. Our joists are 12 inches on center, so this is gonna fit right in between them. It's gonna help minimize any movement in the deck over time, and it's gonna help distribute the load between the joists. So it's a simple step, cheap insurance, do it as much as you can. We'll put them in between each row of beams, and it's gonna stiffen everything up. We got our first pergola post set here. We have blocking on both sides to help lock it into place and keep it where we need it. We're now gonna be using these Fasten Master through locks. These replace carriage bolts. You don't need to pre-drill them. They're super easy. I really love using them, check it out. Check it out, it's coming out the other side, look at that. Pop this on there. Oh my God, that's amazing. Check it out. Oh, hey Pat, didn't see you there, buddy. Hey Sean, what are you doing over there? Uh, not too much, just taking a little siesta after lunch. You'll notice on this project, we're using all Madison wood for our framing. One of the reasons I really like Madison wood is because all of their lumber is treated for ground contact. That's not necessarily industry standard, but a lot of the decks that we do are low to the ground, so we wanna definitely make sure it has extra preservative. And even if your deck's not low to the ground, like I said, it has extra preservative into it, so your deck's gonna last longer. I think it's just the way to go, so that's why I like Madison wood. There's no second guessing it. You know it's treated for ground contact. Delivery coming in hot. We got the Vecca and Westbury from Greenway. It's even got our name on it. Look at that. Whoa. Hey, Pat. What's going on, buddy? Not much. What's going on with you? Ah, not too much. We're just wrapping up day two here at our Bowman Lane project. We got the whole deck framed out. We have our uh, framing inspection scheduled for tomorrow. Guess what? We're not done our frame yet. So tomorrow morning, we're going to have to rush get all these beams up for the pergola. I think we're up for the challenge. What do you think, Pat? I think we got it. I think we got it too. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna finish up the rafters on this pergola, get them set, put our hangers on. This thing will be looking beautiful. And then we can start on that VECA decking. It's gonna be sweet. Whew. 